Turn your hymn, hymn your, yeah, your hymn book. Turn your Bibles to the book of Hebrews. Good chapter, uh, good book in the Bible. And, uh, turn you to uh, chapter 11. Amen. And we're going to read and uh, make a few comments on this. And like I say again, I'm thankful to the Lord that He's let me be where that I can stand and you you know, praise His holy name. In verse 1 of chapter 11, it says, Now faith is the substance or the realization of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Amen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the word or the uh, the worlds or the ages were framed by the word of God, so Amen. that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear or uh, are visible. So we, we we'll make a few comments on this and read a little bit farther on this. But it says now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not a hope so salvation that he's talking about here. Right. But the faith is that you have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ to, uh, to you can depend on him. Uh, you can depend on him because he died for you and because that he rose again and he, and he uh left people here to write this word for you and and for us and we need to realize this morning that it's great to serve the lord and it's right. great this morning to know the lord and it's great this morning to tell others about the lord jesus christ Amen. and so you get a you get a triple blessing there when you can when you can believe in him when you can uh tell others about him and when you know in your heart that Hey, I'm saved. Mm -hmm. And telling others is a very important thing this morning, I think, with with the Christians this day, because there's so many Christians, so-called Christians, that are have been told the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. They have been hoodwinked. And listen, uh, this world is not going to get no better. Yeah. And so those that are those that are uh, uh, in this world, they're they're there because that God has permitted them to be here, but he, he wants them to be told about his son, Jesus Christ, and what he did for uh, us. And, you know, I was thinking this morning as we are singing this song, I died, I died, and I bled, and I bled, and all of these things that Jesus Christ did for us. Amen. And so we this morning need to uh, be thankful that we can come to the house of God and we've not got no people out here firing bullets into us and, and trying to kill us, but we can come here and we can thank the Lord for all that he's done for us. We can worship him Amen. in song and we can worship him in prayer and we can worship him in study of thy word. So he said here, faith is the substance of things hoped for. And these things that we that we hope for is that, that we can do the things that I've already spoken to you about. And he says, an evidence of things not seen. And of course, we know this morning that the evidence not seen is that we haven't, we haven't seen Christ. We, we have seen him in, in belief and in our heart, but with the naked eye, we haven't seen him. But one day, praise the Lord, we'll get to see him in this, uh, this old, what old dirty flesh that we have, and I, and I mean it. I mean it when I say dirty. Right. Uh, it, it will not be in our way, and we can stand before Him and 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 see Him really as He is. And this old flesh will have went back to the dirt. So Amen. That's that's a no. But He says in verse three, through faith we understand that the world were framed by the word of God. And he's, he's saying here that the, the ages uh, were, were framed and, and uh, by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. 
And then this morning, the he's saying this that there's some things that was done, and and uh, they were not made the things which do appear. And so uh, this do appear means the division that we have. But he said, but but by faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. Amen. Now we see the, the the we know the difference when we study our Bible about Cain and Abel. And we know that they made an offering to the Lord Jesus, uh, to God. And both of them brought an offering. And it was not pleasing to God uh, for one of them. And so we, this is what we're going to read. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained a witness that he was righteous. Now, the thing that and I've studied this a little bit and thought about this. It may have not been the offering in as much because I've, I've studied it like that and saying that because it was of the ground and, and uh, it, but I think maybe that the, the thing that that was the most thing about it was that that uh, Cain did not have the faith that Abel had. Mm -hmm. And so, but we see here, by faith Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gift, and by it he being dead yet speaketh. And I think Amen. this, he being dead, of course, uh, you know, when God uh, spoke to uh, Cain, he said, where is thy brother? And he said, my brother's keeper. And he said, uh, his blood cried to me about what has happened, or his blood is crying out from the grave. And so here we see that he, he's, he's talking about speaking, but by faith, and then of course we'll go on and leave that, but by faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death. Amen. And was not found because God had translated him for before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. Amen. And this, this, the offering up here that Abel made pleased God. Right. And so we, 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 when we, when we offer prayer, when we offer uh, our tithe, when we offer anything to, towards the Lord, we need to make sure that we're in His will. We need to pray, and, and, and this is something that I try to do when I put what little I put in that box in there, is ask Him to bless it, ask Him to bless the church, and to forgive me of my sins, or that I failed Him, or that I can have a, uh, I can present that offering to Him. Because listen, that that's that's important. Amen. This morning, because you know He said that He would bless us if we tithe, and He would pour us out a blessing. But sometimes when we uh, want to give that money and, and the devil comes to me all the time, hey, things is getting tight around here, aren't they? You're going to have to cut back on your tithing. Now listen, that's that's one of the things this morning that the devil, he he, he really wants us to do is to, right. uh, look at the, the things, how the, how bad it is and how the that gasoline going up and how the, how the bills needs to be paid. You can cut back on your tithing. Well, don't do that. Don't, let, don't, don't, don't fall for that because listen, the most important thing in your life, or one of the most important things, is that you give your tithe. Mm -hmm. And, and you do it, you do it with a heart of love. Because uh, if you don't, it's not it's not pleasing to the Lord. And so this morning this is something that we need to think about. But here in verse six, but without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. Amen. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And so this morning in our tithing, in our, uh, our, our uh, uh, worshiping, in our uh, talking to others about that, uh, the Lord, uh, our witnessing, Listen, we need to we need to be in His will, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I've heard a lot of people go out and say, "Yeah, I talked to him. I, I just wanted to talk to him a little bit." But listen, 
I think this morning that when you when you do these things, you need to have a leadership of the Lord. Amen. Because he will encourage your heart to do what he wants you to do. And if he don't, leave it alone. Mm -hmm. Because he's he knows what he's doing and, and he knows what he wants you to do. And the thing of it is, you might get discouraged more if you try to witness than he would be if he didn't. So the thing of it is, he wants our, our, uh, us as his children to be encouraged. Amen. And so this morning, it's a good thing to think about these things. But in verse 7, by faith Noah being warned of God of, of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is of faith. And so we're, we're seeing this morning that Noah built this ark, and the reason that he, he built it was because he was righteous and the rest of the world was not righteous, and that God wanted him to survive and he wanted to destroy all the other people and so he gave them a, 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 a he gave them the authority or the knowledge of how to build an ark and so uh, this is why that by faith Noah being warned of God and God had told him hey I'm going to destroy this world right and so listen a lot of times this you know, God speaks to our hearts and and, uh, and sometimes he lets us know things that we need to know and listen, we, we need to listen because uh, uh, you can say, well, what you want to, but listen, the Holy Spirit's with you. Amen. And, uh, if you're saved, he's with you and and God speaks to the Holy Spirit and lets him bear witness to your, your soul and he comforts you, the Holy Spirit comforts you so many times with the thoughts that come from God. And so that that is one of the things this morning that is the Holy Spirit is very very delicate about, but he's uh, he's good at comforting people. So God is uh, in ver in verse uh, uh, seven here when he's talking about God uh, Noah being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, and so. How did he move with fear? Uh, and this, this morning, you know, uh, a lot of people, a lot of people don't say, I, I, I don't fear God. Well, I do. Amen. I do. Amen. Because I know, I know he's God, and I know I'm his servant. And listen, back in the old days when the slaves were here, and they had done something the master didn't want to do, they got whipped for it. Mm -hmm. And it's the same way with us this morning. We can get our, as the as uh, old man said, we can get our legs trimmed with a, with a little switch pretty quick. Mm -hmm. And so we need, to, we need to search out for what, we, what we're doing for, for God. But he says he prepared an ark for the saving of his house by the which he con condemned the world and became heirs of the righteousness which is by faith. Amen. So by faith, Abraham, in verse 8, by faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, no, not knowing whether he went. Right. And this, again, shows our, our faith and how strong it is, how weak it is, uh, even as I mentioned a while ago about uh, our tithing and all of these things. There's so many, so many people that, that are saved, but their faith is weak. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, uh, a lot of times they'll fall for some of the devil's tricks and uh, say, "Well, it's all right because I'm saved." But listen, we need to, we need to really search out and pray about things before we do anything much, because mm -hmm. uh, uh, I think that if you're sincere in it, that the Holy Spirit will talk to your soul. And uh, you'll know you'll know for sure what's what's right because he said here uh, by faith Abraham when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance obeyed and he went out not knowing whether he went and can right. you imagine can you imagine in that day when he took his family out and uh, 
And uh, the Lord told him, boy, he, hey, he, said, he went. He mm -hmm. went by faith. And so this is something we need to understand this morning. Faith is something that we can build and we can use and we can keep on using it. And uh, the more that we use it, the stronger we are. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, that's a very precious thing this morning for a saved person to know that you you use the, the faith uh, and depending on the Lord, it gets stronger every time you use it. And so it gets easier and easier to use it. So here he says, by faith he sojourned in verse 9, in the land of promise and that, as in a strange country dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. Mm -hmm. And so it was passed on to them through Abraham when he by faith left his home and went this way. For he looked for a city which was found, had foundations, whose builder and maker was God. And this foundation, this, this building that he, uh, uh, a city that he's looking for, uh, he found it uh, after he had uh, passed away, I'm sure, yeah. because that's the city that we're all to look forward to, and that's a, one that we're, we should be uh, looking forward to it. And, mm -hmm. uh, and I know that we don't know sometimes what it's all about, but remember the faith mm -hmm. that we have in God, because uh, if you depend on God, and, and, I, and I, I, everything will be, will be fine. So look here in verse 10, for he looked for a city which had foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Amen. And so we see what he was looking for, and he found it. Through faith also, Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised. Amen. Him. Uh, of course, we know these things that uh, the history behind this, but but God promised Abraham a son, and he had he had one by a bondwoman. But listen, that was not the seed. Amen. And so he, his his the one that came out of Sarah was the the proper seed, and she through faith uh, uh, had received this received this seed and was delivered with a child, and so. Uh, again, here the faithfulness uh, that he had promised, he come through with it, and it made Sarah stronger, and it made Abraham stronger, and even even this thing for that Abraham, when he uh, was going to kill his son, you know, he had faith that the mm -hmm. Lord would uh, would do something for it if, if if he let him kill him, he would. Yeah, and uh, I hate, I mean, your, your, your faith is everything to you this, this morning. So, therefore, in verse uh, 12, therefore sprang there even of one and him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky in multitudes. And Amen. He's talking about Abraham, and he was, he was past the age uh, to uh, produce a child, but God blessed him through faith. Abraham received this, and it says here, uh, therefore sprang there even of one, Abraham, and him as good as dead because of his age, so many as the stars of the sky and multitudes, and as the sand which is by the seashore innumerable. So mm -hmm. these are some of the things this morning that you can read and study, and you know uh, God's word is true and listen he does this for Abraham and I'm Amen. not talking about children I'm not talking about anything but the things that he needs to do for you that you, he can be you you can be used to him he can do it Amen. And, uh, a lot of times it should encourage our hearts to take that first step uh, in in his work and whatever he does and and uh, and let him bless you with it Mm -hmm. and, and you'll you can see the blessings uh, every time and he says here so he says uh there he is there there are people but and it was the jews he says there there are as many as the stars of the sky and so you can't count 
the stars and you can't count the Jews. Right. Because listen, they have they have existed and they have uh, prospered and then they have been uh, whipped and mm -hmm. uh, suffered and uh, and been in bondage. But the thing of it is, they still go on. Mm -hmm. And uh, the thing of it is, they're still producing. And uh, one day, the Lord has set a, a set a, a time when He's going to come back to them. Amen. Because right now, they're not. They don't accept Jesus as their Savior. But one day he's going to come back and he's going to, he's going to come before the Jew and speak to them and, uh, uh, and they, will, they will worship him and serve him. And so here again, uh, in verse uh, 13, these all died in faith, the ones that were after, after Abraham, not having received the promise but having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. This was the thing that the Jew did. They received it. They received it to a certain extent. And here he says, that, but they, these all died in faith. But now here he says, having not received the promise, but Here's what they did, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Amen. But one day, and of course they, they're not looking back, they're not looking forward to Jesus. They're not, I, 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 according to the way I understand the Jews, they're not, they don't even, even accept, accept him as a servant. Right. But one day, one day they will. And so here, in verse 14, for they that say much, such things declare plainly that they seek a country. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had opportunities to have return. And this, this they come out of Egypt, and God, had, God was going to send them to this other place, and Canaan, and I think it is, and, and they were to uh, dwell there, and it was... Uh, honey and, and rivers flowing with honey and all of this, but they got out there and they would not accept Amen. the Lord Jesus Christ. They wouldn't accept Moses. They wouldn't. And so he left them. Right. He left them. And he sent to the Gentiles to uh, for them to uh, uh, be for the Lord. So now in verse uh, 16, but now they desire a better country, that is, a <laughs> heavenly, wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he hath prepared for them a city. And I, I and, and listen, he has prepared, and I was thinking about the other night, uh, in John 3, therefore, uh, if I go and prepare, uh, if I go and prepare a city, I'll come back and, and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. Amen. That's a promise, people. And uh, he's coming back for us. Uh, I don't know what the conditions is going to get to, but he's coming back. And by faith, we can look for him. And uh, uh, by the Holy Spirit, we can feel his presence. Mm -hmm. And we know this morning, we know this morning that feeling. If we've been saved, we know that feeling. And we know that the Holy Spirit is telling us, hey, he's coming back. Amen. He's coming back. And so here, again, we see uh, in verse uh, in verse 17, by faith, and this talking about Abraham, by faith, Abraham, when he was tired, tried, offered up Isaac. Here's the what I was talking to you about a while ago. Isaac, and he that had received the promise offered up his only begotten son, mm -hmm. whom it was said that in Isaac shall thy seed be called. And this was the promise of the uh, stars of heaven. And uh, uh, here uh, just bear with me just a minute. I'm, okay, uh, in 19, according that, accordingly, that God was able to raise him up even from the dead, 
from whence also he received him at, in a fear. Amen. By, by faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. So we see here Abraham's blessings are on the promise that God made for him, and he continually uh, taught them about faith. And in verse 21, it says, By faith, Jacob, when he was a dying, blessed both the sons of Joseph and worship, leaning on upon the top of his staff. Amen. And by faith, Jacob, when he died, made mention of the departing of the children of Israel and gave commandments concerning his bones. And so he, by faith, knew one day that they would leave Egypt. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, hey, when you leave, take my bones with you and bury them somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And so that's what they did. But anyway, by faith, verse 23, by faith Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child a beautiful child, and they were not afraid of the king's commandments. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, mm -hmm. choosing rather to suffer afflictions with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Amen. And, and so uh, all of these things are some of the things that the the old ones, the old uh, uh, people gain gain by having faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and in God, and He says that choosing rather to suffer afflictions with the people of God, and and, Mo, and Moses Moses had a high 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 position there in Egypt, uh, but he took he took a, a chance and tried to help some of his brothers, and uh, they was. He, he he had to run away because they accused him of killing something. But anyway, these are some of the things Amen. that we. It's a blessing to know these things. So many times we don't understand how to go, uh, a walk that we can have with the Lord Jesus Christ and with God. Amen. And, uh, the the closer you walk, the closer you walk, the happier you are. And he says in verse 26, esteeming the reproach of Christ, Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt. And that's what he, what he, but he could have, for he had respect unto the recompense of the, the rewards. And so we see here that it goes on to tell about Egypt and fearing the wrath of the king, for he, but anyway, we see that, then that. Uh, the Lord spoke to Moses and called him, and he said, "I want you to go lead my people out," which was a was a great job. Mm -hmm. He did it, and uh, he did it because that the Lord spoke it to him, and he he had faith that the Lord would would help him with these things. Hey, man. So these are some things I hope that uh, uh, I know it's rumble around, jamble around, but it's some of the things that we need to be. Uh, thinking about sometimes because sometimes we forget uh, how good the Lord is to us and we forget sometimes uh, if our faith gets a little bit weak uh, and, and the old devil he's standing right there and watching us just like a, a, a dog is a chicken trying, and he's he's waiting for us to make that boo-boo mm -hmm. and uh, he knows well and well how to persuade us sometimes and, and 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 encourage us to disobey God, mm -hmm. and then he runs to God, and he said, "You see, they don't love you." Mm -hmm. And it's like that song we sung this morning: "I gave, I gave my life for thee. What have you done for me?" And so we need to we need to think about some of the things that we uh, could do that we haven't been doing uh, in order to please the Lord more. Mm -hmm. And uh, I appreciate you listening to me. I, I, I thank you for the opportunity. I know it, it uh, could have been a lot better, but anyway, it's, it's God's Word. And I thank you so much for letting me stand before you and read God's Word. Amen. Amen. Amen.